Hello my dudes, this I guess is my moving vlog. Yes, we are moving in less than a week now, but we have been in the process of packing for about a week or two. So our whole apartment is in absolute disarray. There's a massive pile of boxes in this corner over here. All my wall decorations are gone. My table only has my lonely Haley record remaining. It took me so long even just to go through all of my clothes, like my literal entire wardrobe. I'm donating a lot of stuff. I listed a lot of stuff on Depop and I've sold some things, but I don't have time to like list and try to sell everything. So we've got to find a spot to drop off our clothing donations this weekend. Overall, I've just been like amazed by how much stuff we have and every little drawer of things. I'm like, why do we have so much stuff? We've gotta get rid of this stuff. Anyway, the apartment that we're moving into is still a one bedroom, but it's slightly smaller. So there's a lot of stuff that we have to downsize and we've sold some stuff on Facebook Marketplace. So it feels kind of nice to be getting rid of some stuff and getting back down to the essentials. Another apartment that we had considered would have been a two bedroom and that would have been nice because I would have like a full office, but that apartment was just bigger all around, bigger than our current place. And I would have had to buy like lots of new furniture and stuff, literally just to fill space. And that's not really what I'm trying to do. I don't wanna just keep buying stuff because you have the room for it. So yeah, now we have the opposite issue. We've really got to be very careful about every little bit of stuff we have so that it's not cluttered. So I'm going to stop procrastinating because Nathan would like me to clean out my desk today. Nathan's the one who's organized in this situation. He's like trying to keep me on top of the uh, tasks. Meanwhile, he's knocking out every single thing that he can possibly touch and put in a box. So thanks, Nathan. All right, what's in my desk? Well, have I ever shown you guys my desk? <laughs> Let's take the opportunity. So this is actually one of my desks. So I have two, but this is like my main desk. It is from West Elm. I bought it, I think at the beginning of 2020 and I really like it. It's pretty, it's simple. I always have my podcast microphone set here. I have a little accountability tracker. This is the book I've been reading. I'm almost done with it. And then I have my, what is this? <laughs> What is this? A planner. Oh my god, I'm losing it. And then that's my um, to-do list, notebook, journal thing. I just cleaned out some old purses and I found this stuff, including cursed child pins, uh, an escape room we went to, and this picture of my friend Casey that she gave me last year when we were in uh, freaking Charleston. My precious iMac. This is a lifesaver. I used to just edit on my laptop but like my videos get way too big and it literally like crashes my laptop so this is ideal and it's a lot more comfortable to sit here and edit and then usually i have like my camera and stuff sitting here with my chargers that's my old vlogging camera that i don't really use anymore yeah so i've got to clean out these little drawers this one had some of my coloring stuff I haven't been coloring much recently, but I do like it as a relaxing thing. We also have my other desk. It's the matching mini version of my big desk. I've got to go through the little drawers, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm trying to see how many of my little camera items and accessories can fit in this box. That is not for all this stuff. It's for my camera that I'm holding. Let's see what else we can fit in here. Let's see. We have my Beats uh, charger. <laughs> Vlogging camera charger. I have a density filter. Did you fluff on the air? Dust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what our apartment looks like right now. Oh my god, do you need help? No. Uh, would it be useful if I did something? <laughs> Perhaps. This is our living room without most of the stuff. It's been weird um, since we've been getting rid of rugs and moving stuff around. It's so much more echoey in here, obviously. And our floors are extremely squeaky all the time, even with rugs, but without, they're just, they're a lot. Wow, look at how this box is packed. I mean, you can't really see, but believe me, it's organized. Hey guys, what's up? I didn't update you guys, but we put our uh, living room back together mostly. Uh, sans couch. It's very weird, the floors are all 
so slippery. <laughs> Who would have known? Excuse my retainer lisp, but as I was filming and editing this, I realized how hard it is to film a moving vlog without revealing too much personal information. I try to be careful, obviously, not to show certain things like, I don't know, my address in the vlogs. So anyway, yeah, that's why this vlog has a lot more telling than showing. It is now about 2.50. It's Monday. I had a nice interview this morning, and then what the hell have I been doing for the last few hours? I let a podcast go live, and also I've been dealing with this for way too long. I've been meaning to switch our internet, so I, I got an offer in the mail for new internet and I was like oh maybe we should do that try to get a better deal turned out we can't use that service in our new building so I found a different service that we would be allowed to use there and I'm sitting there like going back and forth trying to figure out like what's our current internet package and we have like a tv bundle that we don't really use then I'm looking at this new one I'm like let's get rid of the tv I don't need any tv just give me wi-fi but like the fastest wi-fi ever because I can always use faster upload speeds and we're always on a million devices, even just the two of us. And I'm texting Nathan while he's at work and I'm like, do we need TV? Do we want the basic package or do you want like the other package? And like, what channels do they have? Do we really use it? I guess no TV. And then I'm going to like check out and I'm like, okay, just Wi-Fi simple. And then it's like, do you want to rent a router? Do you want to rent a booster for your Wi-Fi? And I'm like, I keep going back and forth. Literally, I think I've spent like an hour just deciding what accessories I might want or need. Should we buy our own modem or should we rent it from them? Because in the long term, it's going to save us money, but do we really need it? And I was just like, <laughs> I have other shit to do today. I do not have all day to sit here thinking about our internet. Moving is a hassle. Who would have thought? I literally didn't know. <laughs> Now this is funny because obviously Nathan and I have lived together and we've like moved locations But when we first lived together, it was just we were in one room with roommates So we didn't have like an entire apartment full of stuff And like this is our first apartment that we've like really settled and bought all of our shit and have to move like all of our furniture So yeah, it's a lot who would have known <laughs> who knew have you ever moved before? It's a lot but we're getting it sorted. Every day I keep thinking, oh, we're almost done. We have like so little left to do. And then I'm like, oh my God, we have so much more to do. How is it possible that we have so much to do? And that doesn't even include like actually getting into our new place, getting settled, unpacking, putting stuff away, which I'm excited to do. But anyway, okay, I'm gonna stop procrastinating. I need to finish this internet stuff. I need to go to the post office and the UPS store. Love that. And just run some errands. Errands? Funny thing, I have started to track my daily walks on Strava, which is an app that's like a fitness app for like people who go on hikes or bike rides or runs or whatever. You can do walks, but I think it's a little less common. And I just keep laughing because I've literally seen my friends back in California like running like 18 miles or like, or like, you know, five mile, three mile little jog around the neighborhood. And I'm literally walking like one mile. And every time it's like, buying wine, <laughs> running errands. <laughs> I just laugh because I feel like I'm invading this like sacred fitness space with my like, I left the house today. I took a couple of steps out there. Just wanted to let you guys know, but it's kind of nice. I'm doing it because I want to track literally how many miles I walk. <laughs> now I have a goal for this year for a certain number of miles to try to encourage myself to um, at least go on even a short walk every day or every other day. So that's why I'm tracking it. And as you guys know, I just love to track stuff. So that's, that's it, to be honest. I want a Strava year in review so they can tell me like, you walked a couple of times. Who knows? Maybe this year I'll even uh, go on a jog or two. <laughs> I don't know, pretty crazy. Hey guys, it's 2 p.m. on Wednesday. I have not done much. <laughs> I've just been thinking about the YouTube algorithm for like hours, normal things. Um, I'm finally dressed. I need to go to the post office again. We move in two days. What progress did I make yesterday? Not much. I put my iMac in a box. <laughs> that was a big step. One thing I can say is that I am so glad that I love to keep boxes of things and like containers because I had all these like tiny little boxes and Nathan was like, why are you keeping these? Like, let's throw these away. And I was like, no, what if we need to put little things in them? And then suddenly he's, you know, undoing our bed frame. And he's like, oh, do you have like a little container that I can put these little nuts and bolts in? I was like, oh, in fact I do. 
<laughs> and for like so many of our little items and appliances, I'm like, oh, I still have the box. <laughs> Good thing. So it makes packing slightly easier because things feel more secure in their original box. But also I know that it's takes up a lot of storage. So maybe I should do like a Russian doll type of thing with my boxes when we unpack. Um, also, just wanted to mention, this book was randomly sent to me and I was almost scared. I was so confused. What to eat when you want to get pregnant. I was like, I did not order this. I do not want to get pregnant right now. What the hell? And it was just sent by a publishing company and I was like, but then I remembered that I think they reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I wanted to read another one of their books that they published. So I guess maybe the publisher still follows me and maybe saw my podcast about baby fever. But I'm like, if you watched even a bit of the podcast, you would know that we just said we are not trying to conceive. We're not trying to get pregnant anytime soon. So I'm kind of annoyed. <laughs> no, the free book is nice, but... It was just funny because right in the middle of us like decluttering and packing and wondering if things are essential, then I get this book that I don't want right now. Though, you know, I can make space for it on my bookshelf, I guess, and keep it for however many years until I want to read about what food to eat to get pregnant. Maybe I should give it away. Is anyone trying to get pregnant and would like to know what to eat? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go run my errands. And then when I get back, I just need to pack up all the last stuff on my desk. I don't know, we're almost there. Tomorrow is gonna be a big day. I need to do our last little bit of laundry before we move. And we're also gonna have to do a lot of our cleaning tomorrow, which I'm not looking forward to. I never like deep cleaning, but hopefully we can get our deposit back or at least most of it because we haven't done much. We haven't damaged things, so. Okay, bye. Hello my dudes, it is Thursday. We move tomorrow morning, uh-oh. I'm most nervous because Nathan said we're supposed to wake up at like six and I've been waking up at like 11, so it's gonna be really painful. I can try to go to bed early tonight, but I tried to do that last night and I ended up just tossing and turning for like two hours. Anyway, um, can you see my eyelashes? I just went for my one daily walk. They got all spidery because they got wet from the cold outside. I just went to buy us more wine <laughs> to celebrate me graduating. I officially graduated yesterday. I thought it was gonna be live on Zoom, but it ended up just being a web page with like video speeches. And then you could like search for each of the graduates. And I submitted a little picture of myself and said a little thank you to my friends and family and everyone for the support. Um, and that's that. I still haven't even tried on my cap and gown. Oops, I'm, I need to take my grad pictures eventually but i just i just don't really want to take them definitely not outside because it's so cold i also have to switch out my laundry in a moment also our wi-fi i have some to update you guys on <laughs> our wi-fi is shut off as of today because um they wanted to shut it off yesterday because that's the end of our billing cycle and they said if we wanted to keep it until we moved out even though it's like two extra days they would have to charge us for the whole month and I was like mm, that's not worth it but we have really bad reception in this building so it's been a struggle I was like um I graduate on Wednesday like can I that's when I still thought I had a zoom graduation I was like I'm gonna need my wi-fi so they ended up shutting it off today and everything everything I try to do trying to watch videos trying to go on Instagram or something it's just like taking forever to load so yeah I'm having a really hard day the worst thing is the bad reception is killing my phone battery so fast because my phone is struggling so hard to try to find a signal. So uh, my phone almost just died a minute ago. Today I need to clean my bathroom, which I don't love. It's just hard. It's hard. It's hard to reach. I don't like being covered in bleach. <coughs> oh, Jesus. That's loud. Um, sorry if that just stressed you out. It's the worst sound in the world. All right, to the laundry room we go. It's fun, okay? We're gonna move tomorrow. It's gonna be a really good time. It's not gonna be a ton of work. I mean, whatever. <laughs> no false positivity here. It's gonna be fun, but difficult, but worth it? Yeah. Hey guys, it's a couple hours later. I mm, partially cleaned the bathroom. Okay, here's my struggle. I feel like I can only clean like a shower and tub if I'm like naked in there, you know? Cause like otherwise I'm gonna get covered in bleach and I don't like the way that it feels on my skin. So then I have to like rinse off anyway. So 
I had showered this morning and I forgot to tell you guys about the saga. When I have to wash my hair, it's a big deal. It's every time I wash my hair, I realize it's not as big of a deal as I hyped it up to be, but um, my hair was a disaster. Maybe I'll put in a little picture. <laughs> that I sent to Nathan this morning. So last night as Nathan's packing up any little things that he can find and possibly put in a box um, because he's proactive, he goes, oh, can I take the shower head off? And I go, I need to wash my hair tomorrow. And he's like, oh, I'll just put back on the old one. Like you can handle it for a day. And I was like, I don't know. So today I go to shower and I had checked the water pressure and I was like, oh, it looks okay. And then I get in and I realized why I hated and had to replace the shower head that came with this apartment. It is like, it's literally a circumference, like a circle of water to where like all in the middle spray, there's nothing. And it's so annoying because it never feels like enough water pressure. And also when you're trying to, I was literally like rinsing shampoo off my hand and I'd have to hold it in like one spot on the, on the edge of the water. And it would take like five seconds to fully rinse my hand. And I was like, I have to wash my hair like this. I love that you guys watch this channel um, because it's fully just me complaining about very basic life tasks. The whole time I was in there, I was so like angry. I was like, I need to calm down. This is literally one inconvenient shower, you know? And then we're gonna go to our new place. I'm gonna put my shower head back on and it's gonna be perfect. But um, it was just so like, I can't, <laughs> I have a thing about sensations, okay? Like I don't like the feeling of fans, usually like ceiling fans. I used to get like annoyed, like I don't like, like if I walk into a room and air's just swirling around, I'm like, ew, does that make sense? I don't know. Also, sometimes in the car, like I don't want air blowing on me. It grosses me out. And Nathan's always like, why is it gross? How is it gross? And I'm like, I don't know. I just say ew and I hate it. <laughs> so being in that shower today felt like the equivalent of that, but in water, like to where it's like, it's hitting me, but not even enough to be like satisfying. So I hate it. But hey, my hair is clean. The first day that I wash my hair is always my best hair day until I wash it again. I mean, the bar is low with the, the quarantine grow out. I always, I always switch between liking it and be like, oh, maybe I should like dye my hair my natural color. And then remembering that I do not like my natural color. I personally like my hair to be blonde and bright because I feel like my personality is kind of blah. Not really, that's not fair. What I mean is like a brighter blonde makes me feel maybe a little more peppy, a little more, ooh. So when I have my natural hair, it's like a, it's, I don't, is it ashy or is it a warm brown? It's like, is it a mousy brown? Is that what people refer to it as? All I know is that I was born blonde and you know, around 11, 12 years old, puberty betrayed me and my hair started to grow in darker. And ever since I've had to soak my hair in bleach periodically. Anyway, I think Nathan is on his way home soon. I need to like mop the floors. At first I was trying to spray the floors with bleach and using little magic erasers to try to clean it. But then I realized this is really difficult. This is me just realizing like I'm not good at cleaning and that's, I already knew that. It's not my favorite. I, I guess I'm, I'm better at organizing and like light cleaning, like surface cleaning, but when it comes to deep cleaning, like bathrooms or kitchens, just not that detailed, detail oriented. And also I don't like the smell of bleach. That's another thing I'm very sensitive to. Like if Nathan ever cleans the bathroom or something and like lets it all fill up the whole apartment, I'm like, uh, I'm choking on bleach. He's like, it's not that bad. I know when I retell these stories, it might sound like Nathan's not like validating my concerns. He is, he, he's very caring. Um, but sometimes I am a little over dramatic about it. And also sometimes when I mention these things like sensory things, I get comments, you know, asking if I've looked into neurodivergence, certain autistic traits or even like ADHD, adult ADHD, who knows? I have a close family member who is autistic. This is such a tangent. I think I have very few traits that um, are considered to be signs of autism or typical traits, but I do appreciate the comments and I appreciate the, uh, the spread of information because a lot of people, I've seen so many people talk about being diagnosed either as autistic or with ADHD or a number of 
things as an adult and especially as a woman, it can present differently. And yeah, I'm all for that. I'm all for people getting a diagnosis if that helps them understand themselves or address anything they want to address. I don't know what people typically expect of moving vlogs, but this probably isn't it. So I'm going to go. Well, I'm going to go as in I'm going to play Animal Crossing for a couple minutes because I want to. Hey. Isn't it weird when you have a, a mirror in a different place than usual and you're like, what is all of this? What's going, imagine if I did just, what if this was the actual layout of my apartment at all times? It's a choice. It is a choice. I regret not being able to do a little apartment tour, um, at least before we moved, because obviously I don't want to show a full place while I'm living there. But our place was so cute. It was perfect. Well, almost perfect. <laughs> We lived here for two years, but uh, didn't fully decorate, especially not our room. I don't know if that was evident from any videos I filmed in here, but we never decorated the walls as much as I wanted because this is a big room. As you can see, tons of space, more space over here. So really like, yeah, I didn't want to like buy a bunch of stuff just to fill up space in here, but I wish we could have decorated the walls a little bit more. I just didn't want to spend too much on decorating, but this is what the room looks like night before move. We just have our bed, our phones, our chargers. I've got my outfit for tomorrow, our last little bags to pack away the last things in the morning. And that's pretty much it. Hello. Hello. What day is it? Today is Friday the 29th of January, which means moving day. I thought you were gonna like move me. You can see how dark our room is, but it's pretty early. I've been up since seven, which is a lot for me. The movers just arrived, so I'm gonna get going. Bob Christmas pine needles everywhere. Really? And there we have it. There we have it. A car full of stuff, and we are ready to go. I'm really, really overexposed here. I haven't seen the sun in years. It only took two hours to pack up all of our stuff, so. How you feel, Nathan? Feeling good. Half time. Second half to go. Mm-hmm. Right now my energy levels are good. I just had a coffee, so. Oh, yeah. Pretty sweet. And here we are in the new place. The movers have not gotten here yet, but we were able to get a lot of stuff out of the car, which is now filling up our whole room. But it's a start. I'm excited to unpack. Nathan got these little labels for each piece of furniture. Oh, it's precious. My dudes it's like two days later we've been busy we've got our yeah, fridge magnets back on our kitchen looks great so in the last two days we yesterday went to the container store bath and no bed bath and beyond target had to buy lots of organizational stuff lots of little house things that we had to replace my hair is quite a look in this angle i mean who cares? That was our first time going through the container store, which was like amazing. This apartment is smaller and has less storage than our last one. So I knew I had to be really creative with the kitchen and the bathroom stuff, especially. So right when we moved in, I was like looking up like kitchen organization hacks or like tips and organization tips for bathrooms. So when we got to the container store, I already knew kind of what I wanted and I had already very meticulously measured spaces and like drawn it onto the picture of the space so that I could consult it later. Nathan thought that that was a little bit overkill, but then when we got to the store and I was like, oh, that's exactly 11 inches. We have space for that. He appreciated it. Then we came home. Most of the things that we bought worked. One of them is not as good. We bought this like pan separator thing for under our cabinet. Our pans just don't fit that well into it, but it's usable. I just don't know if it's like 
worth it. At Bed Bath & Beyond, we bought a new bedding set, which is exciting. Um, say goodbye to the whales, AKA little paisleys, the iconic bedspread duvet cover. But it's nice, it feels fresh, it feels different. I really wanna redecorate like our room. I wanna change our color scheme a little bit. I wanna change up our living room. We still have to decide where to hang all of our art pieces. We don't have that many, but we do have a good number of things. And then I would like to buy some more. I love Society6 personally, so that is an option. <laughs> I'm so tired, woo! Today we finished organizing the kitchen and deciding where things are gonna go and I just finished cleaning up the bathroom, which took a very long time, but everything is exactly in the right place and I feel very proud of that. We have our little tapestry that was in our room, now in the living room. What else? Oh, my hands are absolutely wrecked from the wind yesterday. We have a storm warning, a winter storm warning for tomorrow, so we're gonna have a snow day, which means I need to do video work very desperately and organize my entire workspace. That so far is completely neglected. I also have to organize all my clothes. We got a dresser today, that was another thing. Facebook Marketplace, I've been looking for a dresser. I'm gonna have a long, you know, floor mirror. I want a bookshelf. I reorganized my jewelry stand and it looks so nice. Literally half Anna Luisa, half Ashley Best Dressed en route collaboration because she was kind enough to send me a PR package of her new stuff and I got the first launch as well. Um, so I literally have way more jewelry than I would have like two years ago. Wow. Look at the closet I still would ideally like some bins probably for these and maybe even some sweater separator things I've got I guess my most accessible basic everyday t-shirts and things a little skirt action and again here's our new dresser that was a big uh, situation to bring in but it looks nice um, it's definitely a tight little squeeze here but it works, it's functional. I actually have plenty of space in my shirt drawer, which is shocking because I've decluttered so much. I'll probably change this around. Mostly these seem to be like summery shirts that I don't need to access anytime soon. Then I have mostly casual pant, soft pant drawer. So sweats, yoga pants, <laughs> yoga pants, leggings, shorts, pajama pants. So I am happy with that. We'll see how long my rolls last. Here's our bed. We definitely need new pillows to match because this is not, those are the old pillows. The blue ones can stay because they match our sheets. We've got a new, you know, a more chill uh, color combo instead of the orange whale paisley duvet cover. This is one of my new bags, very excited about it. And that's our rug that you probably haven't seen much, but that's where I've sat to film my videos. Oh, who's calling me? I don't know. It's been many weeks now. I just wanted to show how we have decorated some things. This is right above my desk. We put up these shelves. Well, okay, Nathan put up these shelves. Thanks, Nathan. Um, so I've got my silver play button, Haley's record, <laughs> which is like, just consistently going to be my only record ever. We've got some cards from family. Okay, hold on a second. My grandma made me this card and it's the cutest shit I've ever seen. It looks very egotistical of me to put this on my shelf, but she printed out all these things from my Instagram. She put in some other pictures. Plus I have a whole other stack of little pictures of my Instagram that she printed and I'll just include it in the envelope. It was so sweet. I was so excited to get it from her. So that's up there. This is from our trip to the Museum of the Moving Image. This is from when we went to the Heineken experience in Amsterdam. That card is from Nathan's family. These are the books I have up here, which I guess are some that I'm maybe gonna try to read soon. The question one is for my podcast. It's supposed to be my icebreakers. I'm still trying to finish How to Do Nothing. I feel like maybe I should read that writing one just cause it might be good for me. And then Brave New World. <laughs> Most people read that in high school, but I didn't. I read 1984, but I'm still interested in reading it, so maybe I will. Not urgent, but it's up there. 
Here's one of my new Society6 purchases. I love Society6 prints. They're pretty affordable prices, especially the posters. Um, the one thing is, it's so hard to find frames that come with glass. They all come with this plastic plexiglass and it reflects everything pretty terribly. But anyway, chose this, thought it was cute. Here it is. And this is now above our couch. I bought these three, again, Society6. I'll link everything in the description if you wanna see. Going for this, I guess, mid-century art design. Is that what this is? Obviously still love the orange and blue color scheme, very earthy stuff. And I like all three of them all together. This is a print of Prague that I got at a thrift store because I've been to Prague and I thought, oh, remember when I studied abroad and I traveled and I went to that place? Also, I just like the print. We ended up putting this up on this wall instead. I still like it. Also from Society6, I am literally the biggest fan. And these are in our room. For this room, still a lot of blues, greens, and oranges. But as always, I like a little bit of a French flair sometimes. Here we've got a piece from Cezanne. And here we have a poster. L'été sur la Côte d'Azur. And this is our last one. Another Cezanne. Still life. And that's my stuff. That's the end of the moving vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry I can't film my face right now because I'm literally still in pajamas even though it's 4pm. Okay, thanks. Bye!